Hey guys, what's up? Synergy here, and I'm bringing you a very special episode for you guys. So we were looking into the gameplay, and basically, we ended up coming across our own friends. So this is going to be a friends versus friends face-off. This is going to be a lot more exciting for you guys. This is going to show you a truly competitive gameplay. And basically, we're going to get into it. As you can see, two sturdy rocks going after Jedi there. I'm going to add the damage onto him as much as possible. I'm going to have to back off here because my shields are taking damage. And we've actually been flanked by Swagger Jagger. Now, the interesting thing about this game, guys, is we were all in public lobbies and we were both searching for games and we ended up finding each other, which is basically all our friends into one game. So it's going to be a very good gameplay for you guys and I hope you're going to be excited by this. Don't forget to leave a like, comment, subscribe. If you do like the gameplay, as you can see two titans here just box themselves in a corner. What I'm going to do is I'm going to rush in there and I'm going to nuke eject, taking out the titan there with a nuclear explosion on Steve G UK. You can see Swagger Jagger's just taking out my auto titan and Higher Dreams picked up the kill as well. I'm going to add the damage onto Swagger Jagger with the charge rifle and I'm going to eliminate his titan there. So there you go. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to chase down this titan but I notice there's a titan right behind me which is crazy feet. Now you can see he's actually looking exactly where I am at the minute. So I'm just going to go inside before my cloak actually wears off. And we're just going to chase him down from the backside. And we're just going to add a bit of damage here and unfortunately we get the round loss on that one. So we were 4 versus 5 and now the teams are even in a 5 on 5 situation. Who's going to be able to win? Which of the friends will win this gameplay, guys? We're yet to find out. <clears throat> so we are moving into round two. We're one nil down. That's my team. One nil down. And we are moving into the second round. So you can see that we've all gone for the left-hand side flank this time. What I'm doing is I'm just adding random damage over here and placing the cluster in. Unfortunately that's a bad position so I'm going to have to reposition myself. I'm going to go through the back side of them. See if they expect it. And I end up having to turn around because there's a titan right behind me attacking me. And I'm just going to get the hell out of there right now because I'm in a bad position. I'm going to load up my arc. And it's too sturdy that's attacking me so we're just going to back off him, back off him. So he's going to do quite a bit of damage here. <coughs> When you know your friends as well as I do guys, you know what sort of damage they can do as well. So that's why we decide to get back to the pack and let's get a bit more security in the game because it is teamwork. And two stories stop following me now. There's two titans remaining on their team. Let's see if we can hunt them down. See Sly Fox is taking a lot of damage there. We found two stir. We're gonna place the cluster missile and we just end up picking up a crush kill on Xbox Guru. Two Sturdy's Titans being taken down and that is Sly Fox who takes his Titan down. Steve G UK so just picked up the Barak. Salvo kill on the Auto Titan. Crazy Feet just took out an Auto Titan with the Sidewinder and Higher Dreams picks up a cluster missile kill. While Steve picks up a double Auto Titan kill with the Arc Cannon. You can see I'm currently attacking Steve at the minute. He's in a bit of a bad position because I'm roof side so I've got the upper hand on him. And you can see there's another charge rifle that is aiming at him. All we're going to do is we're going to randomly keep taking his damage down. And there you go, he gets taken out by one of our team. See High Dream on the floor though, we end up picking up the assist, and that is one to one, guys. Right, we are moving into the next round. So, as we're moving into the next round, my team basically recognizes how the left side does work quite effective for them. Burn card that I wanted to use though unfortunately isn't going to become active until the next round so I'm without burn cards this round. Now I'm just taking it nice and slow here and just seeing where they're coming from. You can see two stirring right there, we're just going to back off him. 
the cluster missile is not going to get the hit but our shields is going to take a bit of hit he's got a chain gun so what we're going to do is we're not going to give him an open invitation just to spray us with that chain gun we're going to come round and this time we're attacking swagger jagger we're going to get one more hit we're going to bring in the smoke and then we're going to back off because we don't need to effectively take that titan down at the minute um, when it's friends versus friends you know that they know exactly what they're doing and they're very good players guys these guys we've played with them for a long time so we know how good they are and Steve to you UK has just gotten into a bad situation there he's just been taken out I'll let the titan behind him take him out that way I can move on to two sturdy and I can help him out right here all I need is one little punch and we pick up the squeeze on two sturdy there Swagger Jaggers just jump kick me to Keith Burton. We got two Titans over here, so the idea was to go for that Titan, but then we switch up the gameplay because what we're not going to allow is we're not going to allow Xbox to do any sort of room there. Um, basically, what we want to do is we want to attack the Titans that are the least health. For example, there you go, we take out Crazy Feet with the Arc Cannon, and Crazy Feet actually hits up an auto Titan to kill just before he dies as well. And Xbox Guru here will take him out with the Arc Cannon, so we pick up an Arc Cannon kill there. And we take the pilot kill on that one, so that is 2-1 to one to us. Now you can see the teams are even. It's full on 6-on-6, six six. we're in a 4-man party, they're in a 5-man party. And then we've got the random players, which is Sly Fox, Dark in FX, and Adidas. Okay, so this time we're actually bringing in the Ant and an uh, Burn card on this one. And we're moving into this round. What we're going to do this time is we're going to go to the right hand side, exactly where our Titans are going. And all I'm doing here is I'm just checking the backside for anybody who's going to be trying to flank us as well. You can see that one of our Titans actually has that covered, so we're just going to leave him into that. Um, and I'll make a vital mistake in a minute. Okay, so the particle wall's up there, so we're just going to get hit on Xbox Guru. That's going to force him backwards, so he's going to run away from that, which is a very smart play by him. And you can see Crazy Feet right here, we're just going to get a little bit of damage on him. And he's run off, which is a very smart play as well. And all we're going to do is we're just going to go back here, expect the Titan to come round on the flank. There he is, right there. Okay, he's brought in the particle wall, so what we need to do is we need to switch it up and move back around. Now this time I end up attacking Adidas, and unfortunately as I'm going to Steve, which is the lowest uh, Titan that was on health, I end up getting attacked from the left hand side, so well played here. And I end up getting boosted in the midst of that, because I've not got the auto -folk on, and knowing people that we've played with before, they will pick up the Gooser kills quite easily, it's not exactly hard to do for you guys. So there you go, you can see the Gooser kill right there, and we are going to be moving into the next round very shortly for you. Yeah. Nice and exciting gameplay. Cyfox is currently in a 2 on 1 situation. Now uh, he's got the particle walls around him and I believe he's in the last hope. You can see three titans on one. So Salon Fox is going to be taken out here and that will bring it nice and even for you guys in 2-2. Two -two. See via the scoreboards there, how well everyone's doing. We got Higher Dream at the top and Xbox Guru. This is last Titan standing. Put your back out there. Right, so we are moving into round 5 guys. Like I said, this is probably one of the most exciting videos that you're going to see because it's a lot more competitive and it's one of those type of games where it's not an easy game to actually win or not an easy game to actually lose for example. Not that there's such a thing. But you can see they're actually going directly through the centre on the minimap there. So what we're going to do is we're going to take our time we're going to have a look there, there's a cluster into there, we're going to expect him to bring out the part of the wall, but this time we're going to switch up the gameplay and we're going to go around the other side this time. While we've got two titans around the left hand side, what I'm going to do is I'm going to work around going at the back side, which you're going to see Sly Fox here in a one on one situation, and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to help to take this out right here. 
one more hit, there you go, so we've eliminated that Titan, so we don't need to worry about him anymore. Obviously, he can be a pilot when he ejects and stuff like that, but that's what the minimap's for, to help take him out. You can see three Titans over here, you can see Higher Dream, Meter Keith Burton has just been taken out by the execution from Swagger Jagger. Uh, I only call him Swagger Jagger because his name's so hard to pronounce. Swag something to something YOLO. <laughs> um, Higher Dream just picked up a cluster missile kill on Steve G UK. I've just eliminated the Titan on Xbox Guru, who's then disembarked. You can see him there in the air. Unfortunately, we're a bit out of range there, so we take out that. Um, we're just trying to back off here. We know there's a human pilot um, attacking us, so what we're going to do is we're going to help Jedi over here. We're not going to worry about that pilot. And we're just to make sure two story rocks ends up getting taken out, which he does do so. So that's three to two, and we are moving into the next round, guys. <clears throat> getting really dry through. Right, so as we move into the next round, I've finally been able to bring in that burn card that I did want to have previously, which is the Ant Cluster Missile. Obviously, it lasts a bit longer, and yeah, it will do damage as long the longer they stay in it. So all I'm doing here is I'm just taking my time, taking it slow, I'm looking at there, did he see me? No, he didn't. But we know there's another Titan here, so we're going to get the hit. We're going to place the cluster, it's brought in the particle wall, so we need to back off that. So that particle wall is going to last a bit. The thing is with particle wall ga walls guys, what you want to do is you don't want to just keep attacking the particle wall because it's going to reflect the damage back to you anyway. Uh, not reflect it in a way like a vortex shield does, but it will stop any incoming damage. Um, the other ways around it is you can get cluster missiles onto the ground right behind it. You can see that Xbox Guru is hit down pretty badly. Now, the dark guy has Swagger Dragger just aiming at him, that's why I'm going to take him down as much as possible. Swagger Dragger's nearly gone, so we're not going to worry about him, and we're just going to take out Steve UK right here. There we go, he's been taken out. Unfortunately, I don't think we'll be at Cannon Gooser again. <coughs> This time I'm going to move around on the outside and I'm just going to provide some support over here. We can see there's a pilot on the ground. There's only one Titan over here and then there's two, three, four. Okay, we got the rodeo so we're going to go back into the small force guru to get off our back. And then we're bringing in the dash car and our old cluster missile is taking a lot of damage. But we're going to eliminate the Titan on two sturdy rocks there. It's a very good game. <coughs> Just gonna try and get the uh, rodeo off. Unfortunately, the punch completely misses them. Bringing in the cluster of where I thought the pilot was. Okay, so we got one Titan left, and you can see I've got a rodeo. I'm not gonna worry about that rodeo. I'm just gonna try and help get any form of damage onto it, even if I die. And there we go. So we've helped to take out a little bit of damage, which will make it a lot easier for Jedi to take that Titan out. See Sly Fox just attacking this Titan here, he takes him out. Hydream Dream at the top, Synergy with 6 kills, Guru at the top of Durs, then Adidas with 5 kills, then Crazy Feet, then Swagger Jagger, then Steve and 2 Sturry Raps. Uh, Me to keep Burton with the 5 kills spree as well. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe guys. Peace out.